Hosting multinational events is considered prestigious, like the Olympics or the FIFA World Cup. One tournament can immortalize you, except the Commonwealth Games. They become the kryptonite of sport. The next Commonwealth Games are in 2026, but there's still no host. Australia pulled out last year. They thought the Games would cost around $1.7 billion, but as preparations began, the budget ballooned. It was expected to reach $4 billion, the cost of the Games, $4 billion. So Australia said, no thanks. Since then, the 2026 edition is without a host and the organizers are getting desperate. They have now approached Malaysia. Reports say they're offering the country $120 million. In exchange, Malaysia must host the Games. The talks are in advanced stages, but Malaysia has not agreed yet. And what if they do not? What happens then? Maybe cancel the whole thing. The Commonwealth Games are a glitch in the current world. They were first organized in the 1930s. Back then, they were called the British Empire Games. The idea was to bring together Britain and its colonies to show how united the empire was. Decades later, the name was changed. It became the Commonwealth Games in 1978. Around 70 countries participate today. They're all former colonies of Britain. And you can see why that's problematic. These countries are trying to move on from their colonial past, but the Commonwealth is tying them down, sort of like a rude reminder. Even financially, it makes no sense. In 2022, South Africa was supposed to host the Games. But at the last minute, they were removed. Why? Because they had no money. And that's when Britain stepped in. The city of Birmingham hosted the 2022 edition. Less than a year later, they declared bankruptcy. So most countries have got the message, the Commonwealth Games won't make you money. And there's a reason why. Two things make sporting events popular. One, big names or celebrity athletes. And two, intense competition. The Commonwealth Games do not have either. Just look at the 2022 edition. Top sprinters like Sharika Jackson and Andre de Grasse decided to skip. The organizers were quite angry about it. They said the athletes would regret the decision. Same with Usain Bolt, arguably the biggest draw at the recent Olympics. Guess how many Commonwealth Games he's attended? Just one. So top athletes tend to stay away, which means less crowd, fewer sponsors and less media coverage. So to recap, the Games have historical stigma. There is little competition, no big names and not much money to be made. So why is it still a thing? because Britain persists with it. Let's go back to the last edition when South Africa was removed as host, Buckingham Palace was worried. After all, 2022 was Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. It was the 70th anniversary of her accession. So the palace did not want to be embarrassed and reports say they reached out to the government and that's how Birmingham stepped in. Now a similar effort is underway. Malaysia is being offered $120 million to host the Games. It tells you how dire the situation is. But is there a way back? Well, a lot depends on India. We are the biggest economy in the Commonwealth, also the biggest market, so India's participation could be key. But New Delhi is not interested. And rightly so. Last year, the sports ministry decided to bid for a bigger prize, the 2036 Olympics. At that point, the government was asked about the Commonwealth Games. Would India be interested in hosting one? The answer was a resounding no. As we see it, there are just two ways forward for the Commonwealth Games. One is to downsize it, forget the 280 events, forget hosting 5,000 athletes, think about a more pocket-friendly competition. Or two, scrap the whole thing. And we say the second option is the better one. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media App to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts.